What is going on friends? It is Ben with Bearded Spruce, back for a, another video. Today we're actually going to do a tool review. And I know before I get into it too far, you're thinking, where did his beard go? The story is, I have a six month old baby at home and right around six months is when they start grabbing any types of hair that they can find and just yanking as hard as possible. So, I trim my beard down to just stubble for now. It will be back just the same as always soon, but for now, you're gonna have to deal with my baby face. If you have not watched any of my videos, I typically do a lot of hot house projects as well as tool reviews. Um, I just built a shop, which I'm in currently, uh, that you can check out that video. I'll link right up at the top of this video now. It walks through a tour of my brand new shop and how I got it built and everything inside. Um, I also do a bunch of home improvement projects, DIY things to help you save money and time and heartache uh, when you don't do things right. It tends to come back and not be fun to fix it later. Uh, feel free to check those out, but today you are probably watching this video because you want to get a review on this guy. If I'm honest, this is my favorite budget purchase I've ever purchased so far. A lot of times when you try to save a penny, you end up having a lot of heartache. Uh, a lot of people say, cry once uh, and just get the nice tool right out of the gate. I think from my experience so far, and it's been about two years since I bought this drill press, I have not cried once. And to give you an idea, this guy is just under $300 on Amazon. I'll link to an affiliate link in the description below if you wanna check it out yourself. A comparable drill press that is a jet brand or something similar is right around $650, $700 currently on Amazon as well or Rockler. So you're talking about less than half the price for pretty much the same functionality and same feature set as this one. Now I'll get into some little ins and outs of some stuff that I found that I'm not a huge fan of um, that I think you might get if you upgrade to something that's about twice the price. But for how much I spent on this drill press, I have had so much good experience so far. So let's jump into a few of the key features on this drill press. Hey, before I go any further in this review, I just wanted to mention that this is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. I purchased this tool and all the tools in my shop that I do reviews on with my own money so I can be unbiased and tell you my actual opinion. And so if you wanna support me, great way to do that is to like this video or share it with someone that's looking for a drill press, check out my other videos, or even shop in the affiliate links below this video that give me a small little chunk of change and mostly just a pat on the back and a, an excitement to continue making these videos for you. So this model is the 12 inch variable speed 4214. I think they've updated it to the 4214T now, which looks pretty much identical, but um, this is pretty much as small as you'd wanna get for DIY projects. The drill depth is three inches and an eighth. Most of the stuff that I do on this drill press are sheet goods, you know, cabinets, cabinet doors, um, anything that I just need a very straight hole in, I use this guy implicitly. Key features on this guy is it is a variable speed drill press. So instead of messing with all of the gears up top and shifting things around when you need to dr go from drilling plywood to something bigger to some metal, all you have to do is use this lever to change the speed. And if I turn this on, you can see it's currently set at 670. 
and as I change this guy right here, it changes the speed dynamically with a belt driven system up top. So that is a huge selling point for this guy versus uh, less expensive or smaller versions. Um, I think that alone sets this guy apart from the cheaper models that you find on Amazon. And even some of the smaller win models don't have that feature. You have to go up to the top, the, the brains of the operation and change everything um, as you're kind of switching uh, medium that you're drilling through. A side note on that is it comes with this little cheat sheet um, that's super helpful as you're changing your material and wanting to know exactly what speed to use. Speed, you also have a laser that is very accurate. Uh, my Forstner bit right now is kind of getting in the way of where it would hit, but a typical drill bit, it is dialed in out of the box for me at least, which is really nice. Another clutch feature is this light. It's just a typical LED daytime light um, that should be pretty easy to swap out from what I've heard. Uh, and then you have the drill stops. So it's just a simple mechanism to stop the drill press at the same exact spot every single time you drill. And I use this all the time, especially when I'm drilling a bunch of cabinet doors and so you want to get it to the same exact spot over and over and over again and so far i've, I've had pretty good luck with that guy um, no issues with it vibrating out of place or anything like that so pretty pleased other things to note is the stock chuck is a keyed chuck uh, it comes with this little guy right here and a little handy spot to house it and then um, everything's cast iron it, that really matters so you have a cast iron table here uh, you also have a cast iron base i'd say this thing probably weighs i'm just guessing here but right around 120 to 150 pounds it is a solid piece of equipment um, this is also cast iron here as well as some components down here um, you have the adjustment uh, crank right here for lowering and raising the table, as well as if you need to swivel it, uh, you can loosen this guy here and swivel the table accordingly. As you can read on this label, it runs on 120 volts, um, five amps, and I think so far it is more than enough power to pretty much do every task that I have needed it to do. Okay, so now you're asking, where's the catch? What are the cons of buying this model versus one that's over twice as expensive? And honestly, I've had a hard time finding any. Um, the two major ones is build quality. Let me see if I can show you. Some of the, just the edges are pretty rough. Um, some of the orange paint is chipping off as I'm using it. Um, but honestly, none of that is really translated to any issues with quality of work so far. Um, it hums really well. I've heard some people say that the motor kind of makes a weird noise at the end. I don't have that issue. It sounds pretty good if you, if you can listen to it. You know, there's a little rattle, but it's so minute that I don't really notice it. And then the other con that I will bring up, and I haven't got around to doing this, I need to do some research on which one, is this chuck is not the best. So you have to have the key, which notoriously gets lost here and there. Um, it does have that clip, you know, a place to put it, but as you're working quickly and doing things and cleaning up your shop afterward, it's kind of annoying to have to use the key to actually swap out a bit. Um, and so I'll probably upgrade the chuck at some point. I've also uh, heard from some other people that it's not the best tolerance. So 
Um, basically with the cheaper chucks and the cheaper drill presses, from my understanding is there's some play, some movement in the drill bit from just kind of cheaper parts in this component itself. And so if you upgrade it, there's less tolerance of movement. And if I'm completely honest, you know, you can nerd out on all that kind of stuff and really fine tune it and all that kind of stuff. But I haven't noticed anything in my day to day DIY projects. So I'm not super worried about it. Would it be nice to upgrade? Yes. But for the time being, this has done more than enough. Here's a quick demo of how the drill press works in real world. You can see it wobbles a little bit, but that's just because I haven't fastened it down to the table. But it is pretty awesome in action. So the final question is, knowing what I know now and having the experience with this tool that I have, would I buy it again? And the answer is yes. I think for the savings, I mean, you could buy two of these for the same price as one of the other competitors, and it has most of the features. Like I said, I think I'll upgrade the chuck, and I think I will build out a better work table. Um, while this is fine for smaller projects, you know, there's always a case for a bigger work table, um, as well as future improvements that I'll make to this. I think I'll do some dust collection because if you've done any drilling of any kind of wood or material, you know that it just gets super messy. And so I'm going to add some dust collection to this as well as just kind of maintain it as time goes on. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you haven't already and you've made it to this point, please like and subscribe. Uh, check out my other content. I'm trying my best this year, 2023, to make a bunch of tool reviews. Um, I do already have one tool review that I did a few years ago of my saw stop uh, table saw. Check it out. I'll link it right up here right now. And thanks for watching.